DG and the Shafe here. Uh, we're going to open up today and talk about the new Wall Street movie, Wall Street Money Never Sleeps. Now, this time around, uh, it's the sequel, obviously, to the 1987 film that looked all at insider trading. Now, Oliver Stone has turned his uh, sort of conspiratorial mind, but in this case, there is no conspiracy because we all know what happened. All the greedy bankers got richer and richer, and then the bottom fell out. So, and everybody lost their houses except the greedy bankers. But I just thought this movie really overstayed its welcome. It's like 133 minutes long, so that's, you know, two hours and 13 minutes right or how's just, my math he's just, it's long it's long he's just <laughs> ticking off the scenes he wants to it's like one of those bad bond movies where they had to get the chase scene in sort of thing Chris Stone said I have to get the Michael Douglas giving a speech about greed to a rapt audience and got to get that scene uh, he had to get the scene of Michael Douglas getting fitted for a fancy bespoke suit and for some reason or other, they had to get in a motorcycle chase between Josh Brolin and Shia LaBeouf. What for was no that? Particular what reason. was that all about? That was like the goofiest thing ever. Guys in suits and rooms with Godfather lighting. I guess yeah. they figured they needed some old guys. The old guys. Old guys. A lot who of make guys. funny noises, right? <laughs> Eli, <laughs> Eli Wallach is still alive. Now that's worth a movie. Yes, it's worth a movie. I don't know whose teeth he's wearing, but he's still alive. <laughs> yes, right. Money's a bitch that never sleeps. And she's jealous. If you don't pay close, close attention, you wake up in the morning, she might be gone forever. I got news for you, Gordon Gecko. My money fell asleep halfway through this baby. <laughs> you were waiting to say that the whole time, were you? All the time. <laughs> Next up, we go from Wall Street to a less ostentatious New York neighborhood for Jack Goes Boating. Uh, the movie adaptation of a stage play about two working-class New York couples. One's falling in love, and the other's falling out of love. Philip Seymour Hoffman directs and stars in this. And what do you think, Dana? You know what? This is one of those movies that I really wanted to like. The first three quarters of the film I did like, and this is when nothing really is happening to anybody in this, except that you kind of notice they're all a bit screwed up. Uh, Amy Adams plays the soon-to-be love interest of the Philip Seymour Hoffman uh, character. Okay, she's so crazy. Memo to self, never date this woman. But what I, like I said earlier, you know what? It, I liked it when nothing was happening, and then all of a sudden at the end it turns into Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And I'm like scared to death. You know when they have the dinner oh, party? Yeah. Yeah. So they have this big dinner party, and it goes horrible off the rails to which if I was the couple that wasn't going horribly off the rails I would be like okay good night oh look at the time, like at the yes. time I've got a sitter yeah. and and leave but they're, so but they're mousy kind of wimpy people so they don't they might just be the kind of people who would sit in the corner and, and shiver, and so shiver why the couple that's had you over for dinner is inhaling cocaine off the coffee yes, table right. great performances yeah. all around all though. around uh, some of them like oversized and big and then some of them really contained Hoffman and Ryan are both marvelous uh, it's it, you know, it, and great character studies. More character in this movie than in ten of the characters in Wall Street. Money never sleeps. And never what did you think about? I thought Hoffman's uh, direction was really good because he really kept it just down to that, to the essence yeah. of each one of those characters. Open it up just a little bit from a stage play. You you go out to a swimming pool. He's learning to swim as an adult. All these little victories for people, you know. Uh, uh, it's not it's not the big movie victories. It's just a small character driven kind of. Thing. Pretty deep. Okay. Try now. That's good.